Hey everyone, this is Adam, and today I'm going to be showing you a quick tutorial on how to export HTML emails from Figma to the MailerLite email marketing platform. So to get started, all we need to do is go to our Figma file, click on the little resources icon up the top here, and if you search for Emailify, so that's E-M-A-I-L-I-F-Y, and under the plugins tab, if you click on the Emailify item, you can run the plugin by either clicking on this run button here, or I'd recommend clicking on this little save icon here, and that'll allow us to run it from our plugins list. So I've already clicked on the little save icon, so I'm gonna to go to my canvas, just right click anywhere, go down to plugins, and then go down to saved plugins, and click on the Emailify item. And that's just gonna run the plugin we saved a second ago. So if you're new to the plugin, the way that it works is it helps you to design HTML emails in Figma, which you can then customize and export to production ready, responsive HTML automatically. So for this example, I'm just gonna create a basic frame and I'm not gonna go through all the design features in the plugin today. If you're interested in those, there's a couple of other tutorials on the YouTube channel uh, and in the documentation that I'd recommend checking out. But for today, I'm just gonna be assuming that you've already added your Emailify components, designed out your emails, and you just wanna upload this to the MailerLite platform. So you can see here, I'm just adding a few uh, components. I'm not gonna make this a very complicated email. Uh, the important thing to note is that you will need to add a MailerLite footer. So if you go to the footer tab in your plugin and scroll down to the letter M, you'll see a MailerLite uh, footer option. So just go ahead and click on that. And that will automatically pre-populate these links down here with the MailerLite uh, unsubscribe tag and the MailerLite view and browser tag. So that will automatically render the correct links. You can style the footer uh, as you like, but those links will automatically be pre-populated. So just make sure you've got that footer added. Otherwise uh, you may run into some issues later. So now that we've got our email, uh, we can preview that in the plugin by clicking on the preview button here. So if you click on preview, that'll give you a quick HTML preview of what the code is gonna look like when it's rendered as HTML. And you can check that out on mobile and desktop. You can add mobile overrides if you wanna add any of those styles. Again, I'm not gonna go through all these features today, but assuming you've got all these set up the way that you want and you're happy with the preview, you can go ahead and close that off and then click on the export HTML button in the plugin and then just change this HTML export option and scroll down to Mailer Lite. So click on the Mailer Lite option and just select the email you wanna export. You can optionally add a subject line and preheader text. I would add the preheader text here. So add the preheader text in the plugin. You can also add your subject line directly in this input here, but just be mindful that you will have to add that subject line manually again once it's uploaded into MailerLite in a moment. So I'm gonna add this in now just uh, to add it into the plugin version, which is still gonna populate it in the title tag. So that will show up if you use the view in browser link down here and you open up a new browser tab, this subject line that you add in the plugin will get shown as the title in the tab of the browser tab. So you can still add it in here, but you will have to re-add that subject line in a moment. So now that we've got those added, we can just go ahead and click on the export for MailerLite button. And this is gonna automatically export and generate the HTML code automatically from Figma for MailerLite. So now that the export is completed, we can just go ahead and click on the download your zip file button and we can save that anywhere on our computer. So I'm just gonna save that to the desktop. I'm just gonna double click on that zip file, open up the folder, and you can see here we've got our exported files. So it comes with a previews page. So if you wanna add a preview link to share with your stakeholders or clients, you can send them a copy of this and upload it somewhere, and they'll be able to preview that real HTML on mobile and desktop. But the file that we're really looking for today to upload into MailerLite is this index.html file inside of the folder with whatever you've named your frame. So you'll see a folder in the zip file with an index.html file inside that. So what you wanna do is open up that HTML file either in a code editor or just in the browser. And what you can do is you can copy that code by just right clicking anywhere, going down to view page source, and then just select all and copy. So copy all of the content of the HTML file into your clipboard. And then what you wanna do is log into your MailerLite account. So I've just logged into MailerLite.com and I'm just on the dashboard. So what we wanna do is click on the campaigns menu item in the left-hand side here. 
And when that loads, we're gonna select create new campaign. So go ahead and click on the create new campaign button there. Click on the regular campaign option. So just click on that option there. So once that loads, you can then fill out your content for the campaign. So I'm just gonna call this test campaign and you can add in some subject line here, as I said. So you can add in things like dynamic content as well into the subject. I'm not gonna to go too crazy with that for now. Uh, I'm just gonna be showing you what that looks like. The pre-header you can leave blank if you've already added it in your plugin, otherwise it may double up in the code. And then just select your recipients. So select the list you wanna send it to and click on select. So once you've filled out all those details, just go ahead and click on this next button down here. And then we wanna click on the custom HTML editor option. So we don't want any of these first two. We wanna go down to the bottom where it says custom HTML editor and click on continue. And once that loads, you will be able to import the HTML that we just copied from our index.html file. So you can see down here, there's a button that says import HTML. So go ahead and click on import HTML, then click on the import code from file option. And then it says here, you can import it from a URL or paste your HTML. Just go ahead and click on the paste your HTML option. And you can see it gives you this code window here that we can paste our code into. So I'm gonna paste that in there now. And you can see that immediately it loads up the preview based on the HTML that we copied from our index.html file. So that's all looking really good. We can see that the HTML is all being loaded. The image content is also being uh, loaded in. So that's looking really good now. So you can then preview and test this if you want. So you can either send yourself a test email or go into preview mode, uh, which will do something similar to the preview we were just looking at a minute ago, where you can toggle it between desktop and mobile width to see what that looks like in here. So you've got the option to do that as well. Uh, once you're happy with that, you can just close it off and then click on done editing. So click on the done editing button and that will bring you back to your campaign. And you can see here that the campaign is now ready to go. So we've got our review and schedule page. We've got all our details that we added in the previous pages. And all you would have to do now is select when you wanna send that campaign based on the list that you selected and based on the other details that you added. Um, so that's basically it. If you wanna, as a last uh, step, you can also add a plain text version. So if you wanna add a plain text version of the email, you've got the option by clicking on this little edit button here. So if you click on that edit button, uh, it tries to add a plain text version automatically, but if you wanna use the one that's exported from the plugin, you can do that by opening up this plain text version.txt file included in the zip file from Emailify. Open that up and just copy paste all of the content from there into this window here. So you can basically paste all that in there and it will automatically include any links that you've added next to the copy that you've added the links to and it will do uh, a few more details like that just to make it a bit easier to read if you don't have the full version loaded up. Uh, this is the plain text version. So if you're happy with that, just go ahead and click on save and that will save the plain text version of the email as well. So yeah, that's basically it. I just wanted to show you how to get your HTML emails exported from Figma and save those out to be imported into the MailerLite platform if you're using that for your HTML marketing. So I'll leave it there for today. Thank you as always for watching and we'll be back with more Figma tutorials like this one very soon.